Good morning, everybody. It's me, Teresa Perrin, and I want to discuss Carvana with you today because they have earnings after hours, and I believe that there is a lot of potential for this to make a massive move to the upside. Even if it's not on earnings, I think it's going to come very soon, and this should be on everybody's radar. Wait until you see the institutional and insider ownership. You will not believe your eyes. Let's get started. Please remember, nothing I say is financial advice, and always do your own DD. All right, guys, currently Carvana is only at $13.47, which it was down 11.85% yesterday. The 52-week low is $12.90, and the 52-week high is $307.11. Yes, you heard me correctly. This has been beat down to crazy, insanely low levels. The average volume has been 10.71 million, and today already it's at 18.89 thousand. Um, so guys, I am going to keep this on my radar because the earnings after hours, like I said, uh, the free float is 95.65 million. And currently it is given a um, hold consensus by the 28 analysts that rate it. 14% give it a strong buy, 21% give it a buy, and 61% give it a hold. And of course, you always got that one that's probably shorting it that gives it an underperform. Now, the price targets are between $7.50 and $100. The average is $44.08. So you could 4X if this went to that level. Uh, as you can see, we are currently being given a bullish signal with four bullish, one neutral, and one bearish. Guys, I do believe that even if earnings are bad, if they have anything good to say, this can potentially rock it. Okay, currently the short interest is 40.03% with 2.7 days to cover. There are 800,000 shares available to borrow. Guys, yesterday afternoon, there was 1,700,000 shares available to borrow. So you can see they're still shorting this. The cost to borrow is cheap. It's only 1.92%. And the dark pool short volume ratio has been 59.5%. 54% yesterday and it's been but that was the highest it's been in the last two weeks the lowest being 43.20 so as you can see they have control now unfortunately the failure to delivers as you can see on 10.7 went down to 925 went back up and are going back down again so they're not really relevant especially given the number of shares that are available to borrow oh sorry that was a repeat. Now, here's where things get very, very interesting. So listen up. Um, 136,531,916 shares. Yes, you heard me correct. More than the total free float. In fact, 129% of the free float is held by institutions that are long. Guys, when I say short squeeze opportunity, that 40% is way off. And I'm going to show you why it's even higher. Institutional owners account for 669 total. 609 of those are long. 31 are short only. And 29 have long short positions. Guys, this is up substantially. Here's a chart showing you how it's just been increasing with ownership. Now, the price as of November 2nd, 2022 is $13.47 per share. Previously, November 3rd, 2021, i.e. one year ago today, the price was $301.41. This represents a decline of 95.53% over that period. Now, guys, if this was a crappy company, do you think for one minute that institutions would own 129% of this float? I don't think so. Now, I want to just show you, this is the beginning of November and the end of, well, going through October. 
the red columns are the people that have sold out and the green columns are the institutions that have bought into this. Now, pay particular attention because you can see a lot of the institutions that were shorting have closed out their positions and look at all of the new positions bought a couple days before earnings, guys, November 1st and 2nd. Look at all of these sh reds are short are firms that were shorting this that have sold out of their positions, guys. They're closing them up and look at all the institutions that have been going long. Look at this. It just gets more and more intriguing. I mean, clearly, when you have to look at the big picture, it writes a book and that's what we need to pay attention to. And this story is telling us that I think they're going to send this stock ripping very, very soon. And if retail gets an idea of this, get this. The institutional, I mean, the insider ownership is 22.93%. So if you add that to the 129%, guys, that's more than 150% ownership, not even counting what retail owns in this, in this stock. That is absolutely insane. And look at the prices that insiders were buying more at. They bought back in June between 20 and $21, $25, $26, but look, they even bought back in um, April when this was at $80 a share. They thought it was a steal. Guys, keep an eye on this for earnings today. I'm telling you, I really, really think that it has the potential to absolutely have a massive short squeeze. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Good luck if you decide to play this. You know, even if it goes down on earnings, it could be an opportunity to load the boat. That's my opinion, but um, I'm taking us personally taking a starter position going in.